Hey everybody, it is I, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to the Tug Dick Show. You can see that Tug Dick is still starting off a little slow last year. I forgot he hit 304 in the majors. That's pretty damn good. Better than I've ever hit in the majors. Then again, I've never hit in the majors, so that doesn't really say anything. How are you all doing? I hope you're all having a great day. We're at 500 right now at 14 and 14 with a record. We're playing the National League Central leaders, the Cincinnati Reds. Like they said, it's the rubber match. Between the San Francisco Giants. Whoever wins this game will have won this three-game series. And hopefully that'll be us. Look at all that red out there. I love it. San Francisco Giants. As manager Bruce Bochy sets his guys up like Sadly, last game Tug Dick didn't have a hit, and he had a nine-game hitty streak end. Maybe we can start a new one today. Kazmir on the mound. That looks bad, but Johnny Kuto is doing worse. ERA wise, not uh, hitting or hitting wise. My brain's all dur -dur -dur. record wise. Tug Dick one for nine in the series. Two outs, top of the first. Oh man, he got a good piece of that. Oh, that pisses me off. He got a really good piece of that. I was like, that might go really deep. It was a power swing and everything, but just as not as just a yeah, not as far as I hoped. Tug Dick 0 for 1. We are losing by three runs. Top of the fourth, no outs. Tug Dick wearing his sexy specs. Hoping to get some from the la lovely ladies of Cincinnati. Pitch on the way. Fouled straight back. Don't you touch that catcher. <laughs> Catcher's like, I'm sorry, man. That's right. You are sorry, man. And that swung oh, a quick Owen, too. Back. The pitch. And a changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. Sometimes if you let that changeup go too soon, it'll take off on you. These Cincinnati fans came out in big numbers today to support their first place Reds. Swing and a high chopper to third. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Come on, Giants, we gotta get something going. If we lose this game, we go back below 500. Brandon Not a place we want to be. Brandon Phillips come to the plate. So we know numbers 2, 3, and 4 on the Reds are available. Because we saw 2 and 3 in the last game, and this guy's wearing number 4. Dick is like the black hole out there in left field. He catches everything and crushes it down into very small particles. <laughs> I'd been missing you, Mississippi. Top of the six, 69 sexy pitches. One out. Reds are ahead of us three to zero, though. Yeah, that was a desperate, terrible swing. He continues to get ahead here. Complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Yeah, our team needs to get some runs, though. I mean, nobody on our team has done anything that way. This one runs a little too far in, ball two. That didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam him with the running action on that two-seam fastball. Oh, man, not giving Tug Dick anything to hit. This has got to be the pitch right here. He's got to throw something down the middle, maybe a fastball, try and get a strike. No. All right. Four, so Tug Dick gets a walk. You know that using his magic matrix mo mojo. And when he's missing, he's not missing by much. That one might have been just a hair low, but as a hitter on three and one, you have the luxury of making a pitcher bring something up. The glasses buddies over there. <laughs> Buster Posey coming up. I don't know why he's over two. Come on, Buster Posey. You were hitting like 350 before. Get out of that slump. You can bet he's gonna see some fastballs in this at bat. I'd be looking dead red. It's not nice of them to say dead red. Why do you want to murder the Reds? 
I want them to lose too, but that's a little much, bro. That's a pretty good pitch up. I mean, I was tempted to try and go, and we might, but I want to see more of this pitcher's movement with a guy on base. Now a throw over and a dive yeah, you better be scared. The stick's gonna wreck no you, pitcher. Like it wrecked your mom. On the giant ledger to this point. And they two pitch outs in a row? Ball two. That seems dumb to me. You got a three-run lead. Why are you gonna give one of the best hitters on our team a 2-0 count? Here's a look over to first. No, Runner back safely. Oh well. Hopefully we get something out of it. Hopefully they give Buster Posey something to rock. I'm not even taking an extra step here. They're that scared of Tug Dick. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. It's alright, Buster Posey. You'll get him next time. Bluto coming to the plate, Mr. Russell Martin. Looks tired from chasing olive oil all night. Another pitch out. Whoa. Two out with a man at first. Now a move over to first. Pitcher, you're a coward. You are terrified of the tug dick. And again a throw, and he'll dive back in safely. The pitch. I don't know if we can beat that out. On the move for second. Pitch we do! Right, the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Get the fuck off my butt, Phillips. Tugnick steals what he wants. He doesn't obey the law. Do we dare go for third? Now we'll step off. And now the runner's trying for third. And oh, I thought I thought he was going to make a move to home on that one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. We're going for it. Pitch outside the throw. Stole back to back bases on this guy. That's hilarious. The guy did like three pitches pitch outs. He was terrified of Tug Dick. And Tug Dick's like, alright. I'm gonna disrespect you. He's not paying attention to him. He just takes off. And the head first slide gets him into third just ahead of the throw. Tug Dick's like, look at me, son. This is my ballpark. It's like, no, it's not. Whatever. Out in front here is Martin. All we need is a base hit to get on the board now. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Oh god, I wish that would have been just fair. Are you kidding me? Damn it, Bluto, you suck balls! Tug Dick walks to get on, steals two bases, and nobody can advance him at all. He needs to find a way to steal home, apparently, next time. Come on, Giants! Right now, you're giant sucking. Justin Ferg stands in, reached on a walk in his last... Bottom of the seventh, no outs. Man on second. Cincinnati leads us 4-0. to zero. Let's see, uh, the Cubs and the Pirates were tied four apiece. Man, look at that speed on the base paths. That must be what it's like when they face Tug Dick. Taking a little bit of a gamble there, trying to tag up on a fly ball to the left fielder. If he gets tagged out, this is a terrible decision, but I guess since he made it, nice job. That's a pretty good... They made a good movement there. You had a guy who's got 99 speed, super fast on the base pass, and Tug Dick has a weak arm. And it worked out. They got another run. They're up 5-0. to zero. Top of the eighth. One out. Uh, man on first. 
The pitcher has thrown 103 pitches already. We need some runs like yesterday. He's ready now. The pitch. Now here's a comebacker. Back Fucking to the a. <laughs> Are you kidding me? One. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the Woe is right. He's through eight. And we lose. We're back below 500. Who's going to be the player of the game? Johnny. Their pitcher pitched nine innings. He gave up no runs. We were shut out. Well, we lost that series. Let's run away from Cincinnati as fast as we can. Let's bravely retreat. Like Sir Robin, we can bravely run away. <laughs> Fuck you, Cincinnati. I'm kind of interested in seeing when Brandon Moss comes back. Brandon Moss will be back possibly within three days. And our other first baseman got injured too. Wow. Wait, oh, that was in the minors. Bad time to be a first baseman on this team. We are two and a half games out of first. We are last in the division. For what it's worth, though, every team in the division other than the Dodgers only has 14 wins. So we could jump a bunch of places if we could win this game against the Rockies. And we're going to come pinch it. We're down 6-2. to two. Face palm. I miss Bumgarner. Do you miss Bumgarner? I miss Bumgarner. If we had Bumgarner, we would not be in this situation. So a move for a pinch hitter as he'll come on to hit with runners at first and second and still only one out. Prepare for the dick. All right, runners on first and second, like they said, bottom of the seventh, one out. Tug Dick comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and zero. Lefty on the mound. He's not quite as good against lefties. Only hitting two thirty four. At least we're back home. He's ready. Now the pin. And this runs inside. Did they hit him? Like yes. <laughs> Tug Dick doing the job of taking the balls to the body. I think he it hit him near the shin protector. I guess that's why you wear those. He's like, Grimace! Ronald McDonald! Fry, guys! Alright, base is loaded! Gregor Blanco, one for three. Bottom of the seventh, one out. Do jump the yard. Tie it up with a grand slam. Or let him bean you. That works, too. What's up, Nunez? What time is it? Is it Nunez? <laughs> Nunez is like, I don't get it. Alright, Gregor, don't bother to swing when they give you a good pitch. God forbid we score. Get him all back in one swing. Just think line drive. Yeah, line drive would be awesome. Bring in a couple runs. Shrink that deficit. Trying to take control of the inside part of the dude, play. just let him bean you. He backs him off a bit, and with the bases loaded, why not take one for the team right there and let that pitch hit you? See, that's I agree with run. Steve. That's what Tug Dick did. Just take that hit that scores a run. Uh oh, now it's swing and a miss, and he's like, No, I'm a home run hitter. Well, nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at bat. Three fastballs. Tug Dick would kill to get three fastballs in a row. They always throw him that breaking ball crap. Because he's a good fastball hitter. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Just did manage to catch that one with the last two inches of his glove. That could have been trouble. 
A wild pitch would be nice too. I'd much rather they just beam the guy. Give us a guaranteed run. Oh, and he strikes out like a jerk. Jerk. There is the bases remain loaded with two away now. If there was ever a time for a strikeout, that that was it. If there's ever a time I wanted to see Buster Posey come up to the plate, it would be now. That's Wolverine though. Wolverine is one for two. He had a double. Please hit another double, man. This pitcher's got to be getting tired. He's thrown almost a hundred pitches already. He's ready now. The pitch. Going a good live fastball there for Morales. I hate to say it, but Morales has done a very good job of starting these guys off with strikes, going right after them, trying to get things under control. I'm kind of surprised that the Rockies' manager has given their pitchers so much latitude, though. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Wolverine, did you know that you could be my hero with just one swing? That's on the corner to put him that was right not now. it. Was he like, yeah, Tug Dick, I don't want to be your hero. You didn't even try. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. Well, whether he does or not, he's got to do something here. This is the best shot we've had all game. And this will be fouled away. Again, a one-two. Here's a ball hit. He's getting closer. He's getting closer to hitting it in play. It's kind of like a sprinkler. Got him. Fooled on the pitch as he swings at it in the dirt. For oh, he three. struck out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts when we had the bases loaded. The side is retired. So one There's a reason our team has a losing record. And three left. Eighth inning coming up. The Rockies are out in front. Six to two. Our team has a Rocky out. Or have, is having a Rocky out in right now. And that's the game. The skies cry. Because we lose again. Tug Dick, zero for everything was he because he walked. You better not yell at me, Bochy. I'll punch in your old man nuts. Rockies beat us handily. Very disappointing. Well, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I had fun. I hope you had fun watching. There were good moments and disappointing moments. Uh, I hope to see you all in the next video. that big home run, which really led his guys to this victory. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskirjian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.